There were celebrations at Ufcom's 219-year-old Code Harbour Mill when its new visitor centre and shop opened to the public for the first time. The project is part of the mill's Fit for the Future campaign and was backed by a £50,000 grant from the Heritage Lottery Fund to establish the museum as the leading textile heritage centre in the South West. We're joining in with the competition to come back to what we were before because we are unique in southern England. There's nothing like us and we're absolutely brilliant and we deserve and need more visitors. You're going to find a tremendous number of different things here, educational fun and everything else here. You're going to find a greater variety of things here than you're probably going to find anywhere else in Devon. The Mill Trust is now looking forward to expanding the project and to ensure access to all exhibition areas within the main building. The museum hoped to raise £25,000 to install a platform lift as well as having other big plans for the future. There's been progress being made and that progress will be continual and that when each time they come back they can see that something else has just improved, even if it's just a little bit. And what for the future of the mill? I think it's fairly bright and rosy. We've got lots of plans, lots of exciting plans and lots of uh, challenges as well. But yeah, I think for the next five to ten years it's going to be incredibly exciting here. So look out for future events and developments at Code Harbour Mill. And why not head down there this Easter break to take a look for yourself. Lewis Clark, MDG News, Ofcom.